Hey everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to know that you can run near the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Tuesday, Mosh Pit. I hope your Tuesdays are going off to a great start. We're still waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes from last week and over the weekend. So if you'd like to make the Glitch Chaos run get here even faster, make sure you click that like button on this video and all other videos as well. If you'd like to support the channel, it's the best and easiest way to do so for not only myself, but your favorite content creators here on YouTube. Here's your artwork of the day amazing artwork of the day here submitted in by d3j9y I, i'm not sure if that's supposed to be a name or not but they did post this amazing sin slash cult of the lamb crossover absolutely amazing clean shading on this and also on the comment they said i've been playing cult of the lamb so much recently my husband has been pushing me to make more art love you sinvicta me and my husband watch you all the time it is one of our favorite things to do together uh, it's the, the couple the couple goals, man, everyone kind of bonding over the Isaac videos and the channel is just, it's truly heartwarming. And I cannot thank you enough, everyone, for those of you who share that. Like, seriously, it, it does make my day. I really do appreciate that. And everyone who uploaded that one as well. And everyone who comments on the videos. Oh, boy. The day is going to be 9H Hotel Victor, Zula Whiskey 7 Mike. We got Betrayal and we've got Glass Cannon um, along with the, we, well, we do have the, we do have the, the um, counterfeit penny, but the big problem right now is, of course, going to be glass cannon. It cannot kill us on one heart, but we have to be extremely careful. Um, as you see here, we are going to. Well, it will be. It would be nice to get the soul heart, but uh, we've got great shot speed, good tiers, and decent damage to start with. Obviously, we're going to have a massive amount of damage here with glass cannon, but the big, the big risk is, of course, getting hit while Glass Cannon is active because it does take away a lot of your health from it. In fact, it takes two health away every time you get hit uh, while it is on a, on a on basically a negative charge. Uh, but it will not kill you, I don't believe. But that doesn't mean that we're not, that doesn't mean that we have to be careful uh, or that we don't have to be careful. I mean, we're not invincible here, uh, but obviously Glass Cannon is gonna give us a huge amount of damage to start with, hence Glass Cannon. Um, we just have to be careful because we will die and we can still die to one hit on from any like champion hit anyway, so. Yeah, we're not we're not super great off here, but if we get some HP, then I'll feel a little bit better about the scenario. Glass Cannon is not one of those items that you see me use a whole lot because it is such a big risk to use, but we are going to take stem cells as well. I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm gonna pass on tech two. Our our well The thing is that I don't want to go down to one heart, right? And uh, I don't like being forced into taking an item if I go over the if I go over the spikes for any reason. Um, we don't have enough for the soul heart. We don't have enough for a bomb in order for me to get these other bombs. So we can also get into the secret room and get those bombs. <coughs> um, yeah, it, it, I'm going to take a pass on, on tech two. I, I don't think that it is worth it here in this spot. I want, we need to have this tiers rate for basically our offense and defense. And curse the blind. All right. Well, we are we're in the midst of it now, Mosh Pit. Oh boy. So while we're getting started here on this run, we gotta go over to last week's question of the episode, of course, with a very popular Tiny Planet Still Shreds episode, uh, which had a an Armageddon reference uh, in the title, in the movie title, which was actually a combination of Alex's idea and my idea. Um, I wanted to show like it, it just something cool, like a tiny planet looking really awesome and stuff. And then it was actually Alex's idea to parody the Armageddon uh, movie poster. So that was very cool. Again, we, we, we do we do lovely work together. And shout out to Alex for always being a, a huge. I mean, he's 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 a big help. Um, I'm glad that everyone enjoys the artwork. And uh, again, I do I do pay him for it. But you know, I'm it, it would be it'd be one thing if I just paid him for stuff just to do it. It'd be it'd be it's an entirely different thing altogether. When many like tens of thousands of people are seeing all of his artwork every single day, and it's a brand new, fresh uh, artwork that literally no one ever has on YouTube because it's like you know, it's it's original. Um, and there goes all of our there goes all of our HP. So one hit, and not only do we lose the soul heart, we also lose uh, almost our life. On that so and the devil deal so um but yeah so thank you to alex as well as everyone who supports the uh supports the uh the arts arts of arts of the day um but we're gonna go over to last week's question of the episode of course which was what is your thoughts on tiny planet and the most uploaded comment came in from a meal coon who said it's great to, uh, it's a great 
Because again, it's a great fun item, I would say. I only take it when I have good synergies with it. Otherwise, it can be painful to deal with. Definitely feel you on that. Um, again, much like a lot of the more annoying tier effects, or at least the more risky tier effects in Isaac, it comes down to synergies, right? It comes down to it's good depending on what you have. And if you don't have the right synergy with Tiny Planet, it can definitely be a chore and a bore to play with. But if you do have the right synergies, an old baby, you're in for a good time. Take down Limehorn, and we don't get Devil Deal. We do get a Tears Up, however. But uh, as to be expected, whenever you're dealing with uh, Red Heart damage on Floor 1, or Floor 2, I should say, then, uh, you know, what what can you really do? We could go in the Curse Room. Um, it's certainly a possibility here. If we want to get into the Devil Deal. But the thing is, is that we even if we had a Devil Deal, we still wouldn't be able to safely take a Devil Deal item because we don't know what we're taking. So Curse of Blind really kind of screws the pooch on this one. And there's not much that we can do. Um, yeah, so there we go on that. And we'll go grab that red heart in the shop or in the uh, boss room. I'm going to just pass in the shop as well as the item room. Hey, blind items, what can you do? You know, there, there are certain times when you can take blind items freely. This is not one of those because we have to be extremely cautious about what can hit us with Glass Canyon. Yeah, much like everything and anything in Isaac, it all comes down to, you know, it's good It's good with an asterisk. It's good under certain conditions, under optimal conditions. That's what Tiny Planet is. Second most upvoted comment came in from Egg with Legs 54 who said, I only take it if I've been getting some repetitive runs and want to spice the game up for a run or two. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's another valid option. Uh, and I, uh, the thing with Isaac we've said for many years that is that, you know, there's there, everyone has opinions, everyone has options. That they, that they choose to kind of recognize here and there. And one of the things that, you know, makes Isaac great is that sometimes you, you don't have to have a valid opinion. You don't have to have, let's put it this way, you don't have to have a good opinion to have a valid opinion um, in some people's eyes. Um, at least not for me anyway. Like, wow, we actually did get a planetarium here. It's going to be Pluto. Pluto's going to give us a uh, significant tears up, but a size down, which is... Sometimes good, sometimes bad. It's easy to lose Isaac on the screen when he's got Pluto, so just be aware of that. Um, one that makes you larger pills definitely help out a lot. <coughs> but what I what I mean by this by this this tangent is that you know there you can have many 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 different. Um, yeah, we we need damage. I, I will, it's been a while since we took Hamalacria, so sure. Um, yeah, it also it also synergizes with the glass cannon. Uh, but what I mean by that is is essentially like, you know, you don't have to have what would be considered like a good reason or opinion to not like something or not take something in Isaac, right? Um, like, look at me, like, and, and sometimes like with school bag, like, like I'll, I'll use school bag myself, for example. You know, I don't like school bag sometimes just because I just because out of sheer laziness, I don't feel like dealing with micromanaging a space bar item. Is that a good reason to like something? No, it's not at all. It's not, but it's still a reason. And that's that's kind of what I mean by that. So. You know the idea of saying like you know you'll take you'll take tiny planet not because necessarily it's a it's a good item or because like you think it's it's got to have a perfect perfect synergy sometimes you just want to spice it up you know what that's a perfectly valid reason for you to like or not like something i do i gotta say though i am loving this uh i am loving this combo of hamilacria and uh and glass cannon not something that i've had too much i don't know if i could have actually walked through that i feel like the secret room could be here Super ticket room's definitely here. So we have an opportunity to get rid of uh, get rid of the glass cannon for flying for the pony. Oh my goodness, look at this. What a devil deal here. Empty vessel and Guppy's eye. Well, we're going to have flying if we end up taking empty vessel here. Are we really gonna stick with glass cannon over flying? Mm, that's a that's a tough sale. That, that's a tough sell, bro. I'm gonna do it because I like you. Oh, 
And last but not least, we had a Redium who had the third most upvoted comment and said, Tiny Planet is in the same category as my reflection for me. Only take if I already have a viable synergy. Otherwise, I find it really annoying to play around. Uh, and they also put in quotation or in parentheses, he, 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 as in like the pun for like, you know, around. Uh, often it makes me take damage more than anything. So, I mean, I guess the only way that you're going to take damage with, with, uh, if they mean like directly causing damage, then yeah, if you had like Ipecac or something like that. If they didn't mean directly taking damage, they mean like, you know, they're repositioning, trying to get things, trying to get things from here to there and, and just make shots connect, uh, taking damage. And yes, that, that is also true. It does so sort of force you out of position in a not great way. Oh my goodness. Get inner eye here, which is going to give us a massive amount of damage. Uh, thanks to Hamalacria and all the split shots, but it does kill our tears rate quite a bit. So here's the hope that we can bomb our way into the shop, which we maybe be able to do. Yeah, there we go. Guppy's eye is going to show us the contents of all chests, which is very helpful. And speaking of very helpful, we have the compass. But let's not get it twisted. We are, even though we've got good damage here, Again, the big X factor here is going to be Glass Cannon. We have to absolutely play perfectly here. And uh, Glass Cannon is a big risk. Now, you know, having... Okay, it bl apparently it blew up. Now, having Empty Vessel definitely helps us out quite a bit. Um, which means that, you know, we don't have to use Glass Cannon, really, until we get the Empty Vessel sh charge. Um, if we really wanted to wait until that shield comes out... But I think that that would be a bad idea. Um, and I also think it would make one of the most boring videos of all time. The Betrayal actually doing some work here with the Diglets hitting each other. It's been a while since we've seen Hamalacria, though, man. Like, Hamalacria, it's, it's fallen out of grace with me because I think that the tears down that you get is, is pretty painful. The damage up that you get is very nice, however. And I will admit that it's still very good to have. It's like seeing an old friend that... You know, you, you were kind of acquaintances. You didn't really, like, consider each other friend friends, you know? You're just kind of, like, chums, I guess, is the best way to describe it. That's that's how, that's how Hamill Lacry and I am. We're, we're kind of chums, you know? We're not friends. Not enemies, but we're not friends either. Look at that one shot. No, we, we can't do it. I will say, you know, there are a lot of people who watch who watch Isaac videos, who watch my videos, you know, talking about they they don't believe that they have that you have a valid excuse to not like something, and that's just that's BS, man. Like, you don't have to like something or like something just because other people tell you like, hey, this is my favorite item, you know. Like, I don't take experimental treatment. The reason being is because I've been burned by it one too many times. It, it does it does normally have a negative impact more than help you on most occasions now that's not true for all occasions of course it's not a blanket statement but my valid reasoning is just that i don't like the item because it screwed me over one too many times there's that's a totally 100 percent valid reason to not like something and there's some people who say like oh you should just take it you play boring blah 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 it's like, whatever <laughs> my reason doesn't have to be your reason right i'm sure that you like items that i don't and i'm sure that i like items that you don't you know that it's just that's just how it works i mean we're all free to have our 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 favorite opinions or not favorite opinions about items in Isaac. You know, and that's, again, that's a mark, a hallmark of a truly great game is being able to share differing opinions that, that go so, that, that do vary so drastically and still enjoy the game for what it is. Wow, look at that one shot. Oh my gosh. It's Sty here, which is actually kind of, in, it's kind of interesting here with, uh, okay. I straight up didn't even see that. How did he bridge that gap so fast. Well, I'm glad we didn't take Incubus because we literally would have died. Um, so that's fun. I don't know what happened there. I don't know how that... I'm not sure how that demon was able to bridge that distance that soon unless he got pushed by the Hamolacria tears, I guess. I don't know. Who freaking knows? I could have used the Strength card as well, but... So because Glass Cannon is broken currently, we will not be taking double damage from anything. Uh, we're just going to be taking regular damage, which was not always the case for the early version of of, um, of a Glass Cannon back in the day. But I am glad that they decided to change that. Why is the game lagging so bad? Uh, we don't have a key, but we can bomb for a lot of money here. I'm sure if there's some kind of live update or something. Who knows with Isaac? 
And no, I did not. I'm not playing on the beta client or anything like that for the uh, for the multiplayer test. I am not testing the multiplayer currently, as I think I talked about on the uh, the video yesterday or day before, some sometime like that. This is basically a free chest here. Yeah, Fifteen cents for five keys is real good. But this is the danger that uh, we talk about here with glass cannon, and uh, you know that it's. We probably should have gotten rid of it. I really wanted to get rid of it for Flying Pony, but again, I like it too much. And we haven't played with it in a while. Make no mistake about it, it is a very dangerous item to play with. So if you can if you can get away with not getting hit, hey, you know what? It's beautiful. If you if you do get hit, it's terrifying to play with. Another thing you gotta be careful about with glass cannon is the fact that the that the cannon does knock you back every time you use it. So like it it actually propels you backwards. Which is always scary. We're gonna take restock here. And then we can load up at least on a couple of soul hearts, I hope. Um, but again, that's really kind of moot if we take too much damage with glass cannon in general, because then we just simply die. Yeah, oh man, this Hamilacria inner eye shot is just killing it. We're going to get um, multi-dimensional baby, which, you know, multi-dimensional baby is fine. Um, it's basically a shot multiplier, and he does, for the most part, does a good job of doing what he does. This is one of those one of those rooms you got to be super careful in. And that's not how you be super careful. Literally, literally just did the opposite of what I was talking about. Also, our movement speed is quite bad. Thankfully, we have the counterfeit penny, so we are going to be able to load up on Soul Hearts again. But again, again, like I said, you it doesn't really matter how much HP you have if you continually take damage when it comes to Glass Cannon. So and we're still looking for the uh, Tinted Skull, which is here. Very odd spot for it. Now again, because Glass Cannon is not currently active, we don't have to worry about taking double damage from anything. As you see here, we don't really need Glass Cannon. Look at that. Just blasting Haunt right in the face. So at this point, I'm willing to get rid of it just for the sake of, like, you know, us not dying. And going into the mom fight with Glass Cannon is kind of terrifying. Looking for a Soul Heart here just to give us a little bit of help. One. So again, we got to be extremely careful here. Pluto is also making it kind of difficult um, for us to see where we are. By us, I mean me. Uh, did that not hit? Is it me or did that shot on Mom's Eye of the North did not... It didn't take. Yeah. I think we're going to... Oh, man. Halo, though. Sharp straw, sharp straw is too good, and we get to get rid of glass cannon. So we say thank you, legitimately thank you, and this is not a bit. Say thank you to glass cannon for helping us out. I think that it did facilitate us getting the uh, getting boss rush for sure. Um, you can actually use a strength card to play this demon judgment, basically to completion, actually, thanks to the Polaroid. Well, I said completion, but, you know. Um, yes, I will take Roid Rage. Very good, very good. Okay. So, yeah. So, thank you to Glass Cannon. Did a phenomenal job for us in the early game here. Very happy that we didn't die. We almost did, but uh, it was close. And I think Hamilacria... Hamilacria is going to be able to carry us here with Sharp Straw. Of course, we have the compass as well, so that's going to tell me, in theory anyway, which way to go and which way not to go. 
go. Waiting for the splash damage there of Hamilacria. Sharp Straw, of course, is going to do AoE damage to everything in the room, literally hitting everything in the room. Um, it deals 10% of the enemy's max HP as damage, along with our tiers rate, our tier damage, I should say. So 7.48 damage on top of everything else is pretty strong. But we want more, for sure. Um, Sharp Straw also has a chance to spawn Red Hearts. So if you are running a Red Heart build, or if you have someone like D-Bizzle, uh, who can pick up Red Hearts and turn them into Soul Hearts, it's very, very strong for HP generation. And overall, just a fantastic item. And we we did have a period there for, I don't know, it was like a week or two where Sharp Straw was just showing up constantly on YouTube. And I was okay with it, because Sharp Straw is one of my favorite items. It's just one of those comfort comfy cozy items that you know you're going to be taken care of just because of how functional it is how strong an item is that you can it can carry you and it, you know you just you feel better about your situations anytime you see one of those comfort items appear you get a lucky penny here so our luck does finally go into the positive i cannot believe that that was able to hit us let's say our movement our uh our secret room radar has been off today Contract from below is kind of whatever at this point. And yeah, we already have flying. I mean, technically we don't, but we have flying thanks to Empty Vessel. There's the maze. Tom's box. I mean, it's worth trying, but we do also have a, uh, a dice room here. Now we have flown through this first run thanks to uh thanks to well thanks to basically glass cannon and sharp straw. Hamel Acre was a big part of that as well, getting us that big damage boost. See contract from below giving us two hearts there. I don't know, man. I'm kind of torn on Pluto. Like Pluto, th this isn't this is another thing talking about reasons to not like items. Pluto is one of those items where I've kind of been sort of slowing my roll on every time I get it because I'm like, man. I love getting the tears up, especially if you need the tears, but if you don't really need the tears up, the size down from Pluto can be kind of disorienting, especially if you're so used to playing Isaac like the same way over and over and over again like I am. Any sort of change to the hitbox, any sort of change to the, the Isaac sprite itself, it can be very jarring. So, and 99.9% .9 of the people who are watching and listening to this, are is not they're not going to be affected or care about that opinion. I mean, like, that's whatever. But those of you who are, those of you who do, or who are like agree with me there, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. When your hitbox is super duper small like this, it's very difficult to know exactly where your hitbox is. And that can affect the way that you dodge, that can affect the way you see shots. And low life pretty much this entire run. Um, there's no reason for us to go to Hush. We don't have enough money to get like a bunch of soul hearts, so. We'll go check the mob trap room since it's one, one room removed. We also have the proc of Empty Vessel at 1840. That is an HP up, but then we lose Empty Vessel and we also lose Polar Invincibility. So I don't think the HP up for Crack Jacks is worth it. If it was something like the Halo where it had an associated stat up with it, I could definitely see me taking it. Um, but since not, I'm not really all that motivated to do so. Of course, we also have uh, we also have um, Nod Leaf, which is something I haven't talked about yet. A Nod Leaf will allow us to basically stay still and never take damage from any from any damage source ever until we move. So it's just something to remember there in case we do get an orbital, which would be very odd for this late in the game to for us to get an orbital, but I guess it's possible. And trying to line up here, multi-dimensional baby. With our Hamo Lacrya shot, this is, that's going to just supercharge it. And if you notice there that the the little the little haunt, the little haunt threw the chest at Mega Maw because Mega Maw actually shot him with the fire, or shot him with one of her project, his projectiles, it, thanks to betrayal. So uh, I'm looking for a Soul Heart real quick in these fires. Doesn't look like there is one. I'm trying to use Guppy's eye to our advantage. So this is going to be a little bit rough. We got to be careful again with the with the slower or low the smaller hitbox. 
Um, I don't want to get taken. I don't want to get taken by surprise from Isaac's shots or anything. Okay, so we were thanks to multi-dimensional baby, we were able to take Isaac past phase two and look at the chunkage there. We were able to deal thanks to Sharp Straw. Take a watch Isaac's watch Isaac's HP here if he lives for this next Sharp Straw. Yeah, that is a massive amount of damage that we're doing. The tankier the enemy, the more damage that Sharp Straw does, and that's what we love about it. I mean, Sharp Straw is a big time player making big time plays. Nikor Mycosis. We do get Bloodshot Eye, which is technically, I guess, an orbital. We also get Gemini as well, which so we can, you know, we can use. I don't know why I went here. We can use the orbitals and stuff to our advantage here if we have to go down to the nitty gritty and go down to, like, you know, one hit from death. Nikor Mycosis plus Hamalacrius is so good. It's a great block by Bloodshot Eye. I didn't even see those projectiles coming in. Very difficult to tell where Isaac is, especially now that we have Gemini. Dude, come on. Not winning this fight, Forsaken. I'd say that the projectile is the splash damage that you see flying off from uh, Hamilacri. It does kind of make a little bit of visual doo-doo on the screen. Make it a little bit challenging to see which is what is enemy projectiles and what is not. Unicorn Mycosis. Actually, look at Dangles going after Brownie because of betrayal. Brownie actually shot them, and that ticked off the Dangles enough to go after Brownie, and they just ended up murking him. That's hilarious. And a dead end. So in order for us to go south, we have to go east because Isaac. I cannot see anything right now. Ecor Mycosis is not helping things either. Look at all those shots of Ecor Mycosis. When they all go off like that, man, oh man, that's a ton of damage. Now, up to this point, we've done a good job avoiding damage. And remember, we have not been getting a lot of soul hearts here for uh, health. So any damage we take in the chest is going to be pretty much permanent because we, do, again, don't have any, we have no red hearts to really heal. Got to be real careful when you're using Sharp Straw against a bunch of Fistulas and Teratomas because they can spawn so many adds. That you can get overwhelmed really in a hurry. But if you have enough ways to deal with them, then it's not that big of a deal. And, of course, all you have to do, you're basically just waiting out another full charge on Sharp Straw before you uh, let it rip. Oh, my goodness. It's SMB Super Fan as well as Skinny Odd Mushroom. I'm going to take both of these here. So that is an all stats up, and that's also a... Uh, oh, it actually didn't it didn't affect us because, obviously, we have... Uh, we have cap tears, so shouldn't have taken that. Actually, it's cap tears because of um, because of uh, uh, not Hamilacria, but uh, Inner Eye. Another double black Forsaken here. That's just annoying. I like it when they start spinning brimstone and you can just pop them. So we end up losing damage. Essentially, we we got we took Skinny on Mushroom for no reason at all. Took it for a damage down, essentially. Yeah, the 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 fact that we took Inner Eye kind of eluded me a little bit. I gotta say, Hamilaki are really dominating in this run. It was a good one. It was a good one. And you know, give credit where credit's due. Shout out to, uh, shout out to, um, Glass Cannon. I was thinking Mirror. I, was, I don't know why I was trying to say Mirror. Glass Cannon for getting that early game possible. And Sharp Straw slamming the door here. That looks, that looks weird. 
All those red dots swirling around Blue Baby. I don't like it. I don't like it. It reminds me of like some kind of contagion. So slam dunk for run number one. That one was quick enough. Let's go ahead and let's run it back with a greed run. Why not? We haven't done a, an Eden greed run in a bit. So let's see what this one's going to look like. Thumbs up for greed. We start with Black Candle. Uh, Victor Alpha Golf, zero Quebec, Kilo, one Victor. We've got great damage and great tiers to start with, along with Black Candle. And you know what? Spider Butt's not too bad either. Good movement speed, good shot speed. Yeah, I'm real, real good start. What, what can I say? This is, this is a solid start. The blue cap, which is going to give us even more HP and uh, tiers rate. It lowers our shot speed by a little bit, but that's honestly not that big of a deal. We even get ourselves a random nickel to start with. Oh my goodness. All we need is just like a bottle of milk and we're we're home free for the day. No. Hey, good good vibes over. <laughs> Here, spider butt's gonna allow us to create a bunch of spiders. Also, of course, do another AoE uh, damaging attack, much like much like uh, sharp straw, but to a much lesser degree. It does deal a decent amount of damage, though, and, of course, you also have the global slow, which is really nice. It can be very valuable for greed. Especially if you have a way, especially if you have a way to actually um, get multiple charges on it. We are flying through this. Spider butt. See the slowing effect there? It does give you some spiders if you if you end up executing things with spider butt as well. Yo, really super easy uh, first wave there. Is there anything we can buy that I care about? Mm, I think definitely want the blanket. Just to give us the soul heart, but also, of course, to give us the holy mantle effect for the greed runs or greed rooms. The regular Gemini. I'm starting to double, double. I'm trying to starting to second guess my idea of not taking number two here. I think I may actually go pick it up because I forgot that it is super useful in greed for wave clearing. You just have to be careful with your with the. The self-inflicted damage, obviously, but that's... I mean, that's an everyday occurrence for number two, so... I think we will take number two just for the wave clear alone. It's very good. And the crowd control, too. Of course, there's no best... There, there's no better crowd control than just simply killing the enemies, but, you know, having them kind of stagger around and not run after Isaac is, you know, the next best thing. You might as well kill them. So you see there, it doesn't slow down time. It just simply slows down the enemies. So it's not like the hourglass or the stopwatch or anything like that. It, by it, I mean spider, uh, spider butt. Let me go ahead and take a pass on that. And I will go back here and take number two. Basically get a free entry into there. And we also have a tinted rock, which I am going to take as well. There's a random crawl space here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you weren't sure about the whole repeating items uh, conspiracy theory, there you go. It could just be a coincidence that we see NRI again after, like, you know, how many runs since the last time we saw NRI? Or maybe the game is like, you know, hey, you know what? Let's run it back. Luckfoot. We could take Luckfoot, I guess, but. I think there's just much better options for us. I'm not going to buy a key because there's a chance that we can get a half price key on the next floor. So, yeah. Got to be careful with our tiers right now, of course. But we don't have Hamel Acria. That's the only change from the last run, basically. got in our new shop here don't really want that the battery would not be bad 
We can take the box as well because it's at least going to give us money and also like a key and bomb. Um, we can use that for the keeper here. We can take champion uh, consolation prize, which would give us a nice tears up. Despite us having uh, inner eye, we hey look at we get a stars card. Look at that, and we get to save ourselves a key. Range and luck upgrade here, along with a soul heart. Uh, Varicose Spain is kind of whatever. Okay. I do want to get... Uh, I do want to get the battery, but we don't have to get it. Here, us using number two just to clear things out. All those concussive... What in the world is going on with these bombs? All those concussive uh, shots that you're seeing there coming in from number two, those are dealing damage as we as we launch them. Um, yeah, I'm going to take Mini Mush here. The movement speed upgrade. I don't really care about the range too much, obviously. Hey, you okay? Ooh, red champion Megamon. No, thank you. My least favorite champion boss here. Glad we got that movement speed upgrade for sure. Double red champion monstro and champion yellow peep. Ugh. Thankfully, we ended up destroying both champion monstros basically in a second. And we get hit by a random shot from Peep. Definitely want to get some kind of flying here. Those red champion monsters, we, we must have actually hit them with the actual bomb. That's the only way that I can see them dying so quickly. Because they didn't die, like, that quickly to the concussive effect. An angel deal. And Uncle Holy Water, I tell you what. The Holy Water. Battery's so good, man. Just, just to store charges, but I think we can do better. We should be using number two to, to blow up all these pots too. There's no there's no excuse for not doing so. And we get an Empress card, nice. Same thing for the mushrooms. No real good reason for me not to blow up every mushroom that we see. And it goes with like the secret rooms as well. As you see here, this takes a long time. And unless we get mega unless we get magic mush, this ain't gonna be worth it. But it only takes one mushroom. That's what they'll tell you. Just keep digging, you'll get that diamond. One more square and you'll find that diamond. I'm not going to lie, we're not in like a overly great spot right now in terms of like beating Ultra Greed. We need to get some more items. And 2020 is definitely going to help us out removing the tears down that you get from Inner Eye. But unfortunately, we have this garbage, super garbage store, which like this isn't honestly even worth buying anything, not even like the range up. Like the best, the most valuable thing in here is the is the two, the two half price keys that we can get. <coughs> That's seriously the best thing. Uh, 
The 2020 does give us a damage down, of course. However, it does raise our DPS in a way just because we don't have to worry about the tears down uh, penalty anymore from inner eye. We can go back to a normal tears rate and still have the, all the benefits of the multi shot of inner eye. Same thing goes for quad shot. Anything else that gives us multi shots. So we're set up to have a really solid tier effect base here. Now all we just need is the actual tier effect. Like death touch would be amazing. Um, lump of coal would be incredible. Death touch would definitely be my number one pick if we could have one right now. Or holy shot. Yo, again, I don't see any reason for us to go buy anything in this trash store. Much better off for something else. Uncle Holy Water getting in there, freezing everything. Look at that. Big time Uncle Holy Water plays. And it's just another gate. Okay. I mean, look, if you're going to give me another freebie game, I ain't going to stop you. Unless you launch one more jumper that we didn't see. It's double Super Wrath and regular Wrath, but look at Uncle Holy Water just saying hoof to all the Wraths. Another, another uh, Angel deal here. I honestly don't really want Spirit Sword. I don't think it's good here. We have too much of a good base for a tier effect build that I think Spirit Sword legit hurts us. Because, like, the strength of this build is going to be our tier effects if we end up getting any. And at the very least, it's our it's the strength in our in the sheer amount of like tiers that we're firing. Another nothing burger of a floor in terms of our items here. We have a reroll. I don't know why I did that when I have, like, you know, unlimited bombs I can just shoot out my butt. Metronome would be interesting. Um, I will take toothpicks just for the maxed out tiers. I think booster pack is booster bad. First death card. Eh, Wheel of Fortune. Eh. Hangman is eh, wild card. Eh. I mean, wild card could help us, I guess, if we get something really, really strong for a space bar item. These, these rerolls are rough. They are rough, brother. Um, but we could get two mystery gifts out of wild card, which potentially could give us two angel deal items or two devil deal items or something. So maybe we'll go with that. We need to get some value here. I mean, we're sitting at 3.42 damage, which is not good. In a even in regular greed mode, that's that's a dangerous lack of damage right there. Really hoping that we get some good tier effects. I dodged a bomb myself there. A great little slide by uh, the butt bomb. Okay, so we can do this wave, then we need to go back and pick up Mystery Gift. For the present, I guess I should call it. Took down uh, Polycephalus. You know, for the amount of... Wait, that was a double boss spawn? We have three bombs? Or three, three bosses on this wave?
There you go. There's like holy water. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna buy the mystery gift here. Body's a lot of HP. And we have double Mr. Fred. Creep is lasting forever. Okay, we're kind of trapped over here. This is not the right spot of the room to go in. Oh, who would have thought double Mr. Fred is actually kind of legit terrifying? It, he effectively cuts off most of the room, especially when you have number two. Yeah, shot speed and range helped us out there, but that was not a good fight. A devil deal, not an angel deal. And uh, Pentagram is going to give us plenty of... Uh, of damage well not plenty but it's going to give us a good start to our damage crusade here faith card sun card is going to heal us to full so keep trying to go after this joker here Okay, it gives us the virus, so I'm going to use the mystery gift now. I'm going to use wild card. And we get spectral tears. I guess that's fine, but... Uh, Strength. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're going to stick with spider butt. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean... There's nothing better right now, so sure, spider butt. We don't need Mr. Dolly. I'm at least, I'm glad that we got we got spectral tears. We definitely needed some tear effects, but we need we need better tear effects. And we need just damage. X zero, Jacob's ladder, something like that is what was what would take this run over the edge. Or we we'll just get regular basic HP. Okay, good. Right. Oh, uh, blood clot's not terrible for multi shots, especially with our tears rate. I'm I'm gonna consider it. Okay, so we're timing these perfectly here with these uh, spawns. Reverse stars card. Now that could be interesting because that would take away. Well, that would take away blue cap, but it gives us two more items to deal with. In our devil deal, which oh, maybe maybe could be worth it. Ghost baby, just randomly. Hold on, ghost baby. How's the haps? How's your Tuesday going? You know that they spawned up there. Okay, let's go into our item room here just to see what we what we can see. Got the cross. Okay. You know, it gives us a Polaroid-esque type effect whenever we take damage, or at least a chance to anyway. Conquest Pony is definitely one I wouldn't mind getting. Thought you were going to jump. Nice damage there, my uncle. Holy water. We go with the diggity dunk there on double monstro two.
If we had HP, I would definitely consider Damocles here. Not HP, an extra life. Because we can get so many items here from Damocles, but I just don't trust it at this point. We could get like six items here from Damocles. But without any extra life, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> All right. And there's more extra lives here. And we get sulfur as well. So thank you, Spider Butt. And we have Damocles now. So rejoice, everybody. Your favorite, your boy Damocles. Hold on to your butts. Here we go on the final shop, and we did get a reroll. Now, technically speaking, we would want Damocles to fall before going to fight Ultra Greed. I'm not gonna waste. For, I'm not gonna wait for this. Half price, I think we get better value out of half price items. We get red stew, which we should wait on taking. Now I really regret not getting uh, the battery. <laughs> but as you see here with sulfur, the tears down that we get associated with inner eye is gone thanks to 2020. So it's not our usual forever in a day charge up time with sulfur. This was absolutely destroyed here. I can use sulfur anymore as we just don't need to. Oh my goodness. And a Krampus fight, which he is actually going to spawn two items thanks to uh, Damocles. And we get Guppy's head. Not enough for Guppy, but two or three Guppy is surprising considering. And now is when we start getting nervous because if Damocles falls, we have no way of we have no way of actually like saving ourselves. Um. We got the D1 Hizzle, I suppose. Uh, we use the D100 instead of instead of sulfur. I don't know about that, man. That's that is a the risky proposition here. Ooh, Sun's habit's huge as well. I mean, okay. I don't think I can justify giving up. The D100 would be hilarious, but that would be only under extreme circumstances if we turn into Black Judas with Damocles falling. We're, we, we're wasting time. We have red stew ticking. We can't sit here and de deliberate. We just got to do it. We can't be scared of Damocles here. Okay. What was that? When has Monstro ever spawned in this room? Now, we didn't take damage thanks to the Holy Mantle, but I'm just mad now. Now, if we do take damage, we can get a double charge on... Uh, on sulfur here which would be nice to get mega brim for this fight be even nicer just to kill him damocles always adds an air of danger though definitely having uh holy mantle helps out thanks to the blanket
points are always wonky. Well, holy water doing his thing. Yeah, we'll just no hit greed. How about that? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and take that dub there. Shout out for the double episode, everybody. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed both of these runs, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. Your question of the episode is going to be: What are your thoughts on glass cannon? Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Is it too dangerous to use? Post them in the comments down below. Remember, the top three most upvoted comments get read on next week's episode. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. As always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some pages of mine like Baked Beans 007, Wyatt Sipes, and Flashback 007. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.